Today, the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft, carrying four Expedition 72 crew members, NASA astronauts Nick Haig, Suni Williams, and Butch Wilmore, along with Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbunov, undocked from the International Space Station at 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time. The undocking process was meticulously planned and executed, ensuring the safety and success of the mission. The spacecraft autonomously redocked at a different port on the station's Harmony module at 7.18 a.m. Eastern Time. This maneuver, known as a port relocation, is a routine operation that helps optimize docking ports for upcoming missions. This significant event marks the fifth port relocation of a Dragon spacecraft with crew aboard. It follows previous successful moves during the Crew-1, Crew-2, Crew-6, and Crew-8 missions. Each of these missions demonstrated the versatility and reliability of the Dragon spacecraft in various docking and undocking scenarios. The Crew Dragon spacecraft continues to play a crucial role in advancing human space exploration, showcasing its capability to adapt to different mission requirements and ensuring the safety and efficiency of crew operations. The Expedition 72 crew will continue their vital scientific research and essential maintenance tasks aboard the International Space Station. These dedicated astronauts are contributing significantly to the ongoing efforts to advance human space exploration. Their work includes a variety of experiments in microgravity, which are crucial for understanding how to sustain long-term human presence in space. Additionally, they perform routine and emergency maintenance to ensure the station remains operational and safe for all its inhabitants. This operation highlights the seamless collaboration between international space agencies and the efficiency of SpaceX's spacecraft operations. What are your thoughts on the ongoing collaboration and advancements in space exploration? Freedom, SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture complete. And at 6.25 a.m. Central, 7.25 a.m. Eastern, we have confirmation of initial contact and capture. At that time, the International Space Station and Dragon were flying approximately 260 statute miles over the south part of Brazil. Hook drive. Now, the vestibule, we were talking about it a little bit earlier. That's the interstitial volume between the ISS's hatch, the space-facing hatch, and the Dragon Ford hatch that had the docking target on it. 